Yes, of course, it's possible to change your money mindset. You can evolve your money mindset. You can create a new relationship with money. And in this episode, I'm going to give you five simple, easy to implement ways which will help you rebuild your relationship with money and build an absolutely new money mindset. Everything that you desire, everything that you dream of can come true if you have the right money mindset, the right approach, the right attitude and you execute everything that needs to be done. So with that simple introduction, let's get started and tell you what do you need to do, buckle up and start getting ready to manifest with Paycheck to Profit. Hi, I'm Manish Ahuja, founder of Paycheck to Profit and your favorite financial literacy and money mindset coach who's going to now tell you about how you can manifest everything that you dream, everything that you desire, use law of attraction to your advantage, get all the answers that you've been waiting for, get financially financially literate and achieve your financial freedom. The first thing that you need to do to create a new money mindset is to join a mastermind or spend time with people whose mindset is a lot more positive than yours, who have more money, whose lifestyle is better than yours, whose attitude is better than yours, people who you look up to, people who inspire you and people who you would like to become like. So if you are a working professional and if you want to get a promotion, talk to people, spend more time with people who are a few steps ahead of you in your career path, in your career journey. If you're a business owner, connect with people, network with people who have achieved a lot more success, who are uh, servicing clients which are better than the kind of clients that you are dealing with. Create a new ecosystem of people who you are spending time with. People spend time only with people who inspire you, who look up, to, who you look up to, and try to mentor people who come with the right positive questions, positive mindset, and who want to learn from you. People are the most important factors which influence us in our life. So make sure that you are only spending time with people who deserve deserve your time and who add value to your life. The second thing that you definitely can do to change your money mindset, improve your money mindset is be very mindful of the kind of content that you're consuming, the kind of books that you're reading, the kind of podcasts that you're listening to like this one, or you're watching it on YouTube, the kind of reels that you're going through on your Instagram feed or the shorts that you're watching on YouTube. Media plays a very important role on your subconscious level to feed you, to train you, to teach you how you look at life, how you think, how you focus, how you approach any situation. So be very, very, very mindful of the kind of content that you consume. In fact, consume content which helps you become a better person instead of consuming content which makes you uh, question your self-worth, which gets you into self-doubt, which makes you feel like you're not good enough, which makes you compare to other people. Don't do that. Consume only mindful content like this episode. So... The third thing that you need to do is you need to use law of attraction to your advantage. My money mindset changed entirely when I got introduced to law of attraction. I have been wanting to be in the coaching industry for about four to five years now. Earlier, I wanted to talk only about financial literacy, financial freedom, how you can invest your money and make millions by investing in the stock markets. I do that even right now. But I talk to talk about all of those fundamental Uh, investment opportunities to my community only when you become a part of my community and you've gone through the money mindset level. Why? Because money mindset is the fundamental base. That's the plinth. That's the foundation on which your entire investment, budgeting and all the other aspects of your finances stay on. So money mindset is the main thing that you need to focus on. Use law of attraction to strengthen your money mindset. Use law of attraction to create a new relationship with money, a much more evolved and a better relationship with money. In fact, if you've been listening to this episode for such a long time, let me give you a reference point. In the description of this particular podcast, you will find uh, an earlier podcast that I've done, which which talks about nine law of attraction tools and techniques which will help you manifest faster. So make sure you listen to that episode after you've gone through this episode. The fourth thing that you need to do is figure out what are your limiting beliefs, what are your money blocks. If you are absolutely new to uh, manifest manifest with Paycheck to Profit, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you follow this 
podcast on a regular basis because in the next few episodes that are coming up this month i am going to talk a lot about money blocks your mindset with money or psychology of money so make sure that you are connected what exactly are money blocks money blocks is how you focus on money how you how what do you feel about money what is your relation your current relationship with money like your money mindset and your money blocks are generated out of your past experiences your personal attitude your upbringing the kind of people you spend your time with the influence that you have how do you refine that how do you eliminate people or if not eliminate people how do you eliminate somebody else's money mindset affecting your mindset how do you do that is how you start focusing on your limiting beliefs how do you start eliminating your money blocks that is literally the core of changing your money mindset that is literally the core of evolving from where you are to the level that you want to be at changing your money mindset is work you need to be mindful about the fact that it's like building your body you can't just go to gym for one day and start looking at muscles right it is not going to happen you need to go back to the gym you need to keep working out consistently you need to focus on your nutrition you need to focus on living a healthy lifestyle you need to focus on your sleep your nutrition all aspects of what makes you healthy similarly with your money mindset you need to focus on your money mindset you need to focus on your law of attraction you need to focus on eliminating your money blocks you need to focus on building a healthier relationship with money you need to focus on spending more time with people who you look up to your mastermind to make this journey easier for you go to the description below the like button and you will find two links one is to become a part of the profit clan where you start getting email updates about paycheck to profit directly to your email address it's absolutely free and if you prefer to choose to get all these updates on whatsapp that's also an option that's available for you make sure you become a part of the profit clan and whatsapp so you get updates about the new content that i release the new episodes that release for me manifest with paycheck to profit or when i am releasing a new reel which is blowing on uh, blowing apart on instagram and so on and so forth so make sure that you are part of the profit clan the fifth and the most important thing that has helped me create a new relationship with money to completely improve my money mindset is the concept of journaling now why journaling it's because today we are living in a world where our thoughts are so jumbled up in our heads we are so confused we are so overwhelmed that we don't even know how to process our emotions journaling is one simple way to process your emotions in fact this entire episode that you're listening to or watching right now has been going on for past 7.55 seconds it's a one cut episode i absolutely just start looking into the camera and i start speaking the reason why i am able to pull you through this entire episode is because every word that i'm talking about is structured and i have made a note of it i am making sure that i journal my thoughts i structure my thoughts i re i repurpose my thoughts in a way wherein i know okay i should talk about this point first and this point second now if one episode is going in such a smooth way imagine if all of your thoughts all of your belief systems all of your fears all of your insecurities are getting processed on paper we are not getting time we are not getting bandwidth to process our emotions which is why we are always so overwhelmed stop feeling overwhelmed start processing your emotions with your journaling exercises journal about all important aspects of your life your health your relationship your wealth your career growth or your business growth the more you put down on paper the more clarity you get the more clarity you get the more focus you have the more focus you have the more energy you have in the getting channelized in the right direction journaling has been the fact that has helped me completely change my relationship with money and i know it is going to help you too let me consolidate and tell you what exactly have i spoken about stay consistent with all of these practices and you are definitely going to build a new relationship with money so spend more time with people who inspire you spend time with people who look up to you and who you can mentor consume positive content be very 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 mindful about every piece of content that you consume use law of attraction to your advantage focus on eliminating your money blocks change your money mindset by spending a lot of time on journaling stay very consistent with your journaling efforts
I hope this has added some value to you. If you have any questions, you can very easily reach out to me on social media. You'll find all my social media links in the description below. Please stay connected. If you've liked this video or this podcast episode, if this has added value to your life, please do not forget to give a five star review to this podcast and this episode. It'll take just a couple of minutes, but every review that you give helps this podcast to reach out to 10, 20, 50, 100 more people. If you would like to recommend this podcast episode, just take a screenshot of this podcast right now, wherever you're listening. Share that screenshot on your social media. Do not forget to tag Mr. Emojical. That's my personal hi- uh, handle and pay to pro so that I can share your recommendation with the world and more and more people can get to know about Manifest with Paycheck to Profit. With every share, more people will get to understand how to make sense of law of attraction, which is seemingly simple but a very complicated topic because there is so much information overload i am doing everything in my capacity to structure everything that i have learned and share it with you be a catalyst in somebody else's manifestations and you are also going to see an impact a positive impact of being that catalyst in your own life stay connected focus on your manifestations focus on building a better relationship with money and i will now see you in the next episode until then Thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank you so much for listening to this episode entirely. Keep going, keep growing. Thank you.